Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan. Thank you so much for coming by. I am super excited to share today's video with you guys. We have a very um, serious video and we are looking at some new statistics for rideshare drivers and in my opinion, there is no way, no possible way that Uber and Lyft driving is going to be feasible in one, two, three years. I just kind of see it fizzling out and I'm going to explain why in today's video. So thumbs it up if you do enjoy these types of videos. And I also do want to tell you about a new opportunity to receive guaranteed pay as a gig worker. There's a company called Solo and they're offering guaranteed pay feature to drivers. So if you go out and work, they're going to guarantee that you make uh, you know, a certain amount of money, which is available in select cities. They do have a free app nationwide and when you sign up, they're gonna send you 15 bucks just for linking your account and typing in your PayPal or your Venmo. And you'll get that money. So let's get started. This is very, very uh, serious. Um, yeah, so there's a new report that just came out that average monthly car payments have reached a record high, topping $700. They are struggling to even get cars on the lot right now, and their customers are lucky. Uh, customers lucky enough to find a vehicle. They're facing payments at an all-time high. News 5's Catherine Ross explains what's behind the rising costs and how long it could take before Northeast Ohioans see relief. Jennifer Neiman and her husband like their new car, but it wasn't necessarily their first choice. We would have loved to have just picked out the perfect car, um, but we were willing to just say good enough <laughs> and we were just happy so she said i couldn't find a good enough car or you know i couldn't find my dream car so i just bought a quote good enough car for 700 dollars a month car payment that is more than the cost of rent in many areas to to uh rent a home let alone a car and let alone a car that you don't barely even like i mean this is getting absolutely ridiculous my friends how does it how does uber and lyft justify uh, outsourcing that expense, the car expenses to drivers, while not even increasing the fares for drivers. Drivers, I literally cannot understand how some drivers are making any money at all right now. Especially when your car payments, on average, drivers are over 700 bucks a month. Need to have a new car in there. <laughs> Good enough feels even better now because a year after the Neiman's purchase, inventory is still low and prices have skyrocketed. We're, we're a family. That's you know what's crazy is that if the used car market is so um, uh, is so in demand right now, if you have a used car that you're trying to sell. Um, or that you you know you have an extra used car you would be surprised you could get maybe double of what your car was worth a year ago be 50 percent higher i mean the car i have right now i bought it for five thousand dollars back in 2018 2019 2017 and i could get more for the car now than what i paid for i paid five thousand dollars even with taxes i had to pay an extra 450 bucks in taxes I could probably sell that car right now for $7,000. It's absolutely crazy. And the car has 160,000 miles on it. But literally people are, the cars under $15,000 are in super high demand right now. So you, if you have an extra car laying around and you, you know, you've uh, put off selling it, go sell the dang thing, fix it up, clean it yourself, make it, get it running. And that thing will, you, you know, as long as it runs, you could probably get a few thousand miles for it. Put it up on Facebook Marketplace. Do not trade it into a dealership because they will rip you off. Take on too much debt, um, and that's a large bill. Now, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the cost of a new car has gone up almost 13% in the past year, and the cost of a used car is up more than 16%. But at the same time... That's a very interesting uh, blouse that she has on. Those, it looks like um, curtains. Not my particular style, but she does pull it off. And demand for those cars is also going up. We were seeing increased pricing and increased cost. Okay, this editing, come on guys. What is this? Microsoft Paint 1995? Come on. For automobile ownership much earlier than... Was he supposed to be inside the car? They edited him to be inside the car, except he has a bookshelf behind him with helmets on top. The issues of and a ceiling <laughs> facing today with interest rates going up, uh, 
fuel prices going up. Lou Vittantonio, the president of the Greater Cleveland Automobile Dealership Association. They just cut him off completely. You can't even understand what he's saying. Says prices were already rising because labor, manufacturing, and in turn supply were all weighed down during the pandemic. Dealerships like Great Lakes Hyundai and Streetsboro are feeling that crunch. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video there, but I do want to hear from you. How much is your car payment? I want to be have you guys comment down below. And, you know, the car that I have, my Ford Escape, I have a Z, it's zero dollar. It's paid off. And when I did when I did buy it, it was 154 bucks a month, which I thought was pretty high. But now 700 bucks a month. That's crazy. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts on this one. And again, sign up for uh, Work Solo if you'd like. We, uh, just to explain it really quickly, they do have this guaranteed pay feature amount. Uh, so if you go out and drive from 10 to 11 a.m. and you don't make, you know, they're going to basically guarantee that you make that $37. So they do have um, a free nationwide app that you can sign up. And again, when you sign up, you're going to get $15. And just to be fully transparent, the guaranteed pay feature amount, the guaranteed pay feature is only available in these areas. However, when you do sign up in a different area, you're going to help them be able to expand to new areas, right? Because this free, this is nationwide, this part, um, and this one is nationwide as well, but this one is only available in select cities. They basically need new data in new cities, so go check it out. Harry Campbell from the Rideshare Guy is, um, he is uh, an investor and an advisor in the company. You can even see him here on the homepage. It was pretty awesome. So anyways, check out the link below for Work Solo, guys, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.